Hello, this is a tutorial for black liquid eyeliner. Um, if you would like eyeliner like this, um, that's kind of easy to do, then this is the tutorial for you. Enjoy. So I usually start with eye makeup just because I like to get that done first before I put any um, base on. So we are just going to start with the eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay photo ready uh, eyeshadow primer. So I just pop this on just using my fingers. You don't need to worry about being neat, just as long as you get it all blended in. And I'm gonna focus on one eye, just so that it's a bit quicker for you. Okay, so that is on. The next thing you want to do is I always just wash a layer of neutral shadow over the uh, eyelid just to set that eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to be using my Morphe 9 Eye palette Ooh. and I'm going to be using this colour here. So if you just grab some of that and apply that on to the eyelid as well just to set everything and it's a good base for the rest of your shadow to go onto. Although I'm not going to do any complicated shadow really today. Um, just because I want you to focus on the liquid eyeliner. So again, I'm going to use these two colours from the Morphe palette and just wash them over with a fluffy brush just in the crease. This is usually my sort of everyday work eye makeup look. So if you just blend through the crease, just to give your eye a little bit of definition. And then we are going to add a little bit of a shimmer just to lift it from the front as well and make the eyeliner pop. So you can just blend the two together, the brush that you used with the neutral sort of to set the um, primer and then brush through where you put the darker shade so it's all blended in really well. Then the next shade I'm going to add to my eye to make it pop is just a little bit of a light sort of reflective shadow and this I'm going to use the Barry M. This is a Dazzle Dust in the shade 105 so it's a nice light sort of reflective colour in there. I've just dampened my brush with a setting spray and then I'm just going to grab a little bit of this so and then apply it to the lower lid like so just checking you can see so just on the lower lid apply this right down by the uh, upper lash line and then sort of blend it into a half moon shape it's almost like a mini sort of cut crease not as neat but it gives a similar effect So when you're happy with the amount of the shimmer sort of shadow you have on, just grab the brush and nip into those two colours you used first to give some colour in the crease and just blend those two colours together. So literally just go across both, just so there's no harsh line, especially on the outer corner. And just blend up and through together. So I'm just going to do the other eye just to make sure that everything looks the same and then we'll go on to liner. Okay, now you have finished the eyeshadow on both eyes, you want to add your eyeliner. So I think I'm going to focus on this eye um, because it's going to be a little bit easier for you to see. So I'm using the Too Faced, this is called the Sketch Liner. So it's got a lovely sort of really straight felt tip pen type nib um, that's quite flexible and really easy to use and make a straight line with. It's also waterproof which is really really handy. I got it on my hand the other day when I was filming the um, Instagram story uh, tutorial and I had to scrub it off in the shower which is always a good sign when it comes to an eyeliner. So like I said on that video I focus on four sections of the eye so I focus on the inner corner halfway the edge 
and then the flick as an add-on. So I usually start in the centre of the eye. So I will go in with the eyeliner and start at the centre of the eye. And then draw it out to the outer corner of the eye like that. Just try and be slow and steady and keep your eye as still as possible. That really helps. Um, and then I just bring this out a little further. Just little strokes. I never do it in one go. Um, and then I go a little bit further into the inner corner to join like so. You want to do it as fine as possible. You can always make it thicker if you want to. And then to join the very inner corner of the eye, I go in from the front. So I, I don't reach over. I go right in from the front. So... I literally finish it off like that. Now make sure you do do that part because if you leave your eyeliner here where your lashes end and you don't take it down, it just looks a little bit unfinished and like you almost couldn't be bothered to just add that little bit on the end. It is quite important for how it looks at the end. Okay, now obviously to do the flick you need to uh, join it on from where you've left off. You can decide what angle you want to do this at and how thick you want to do it. Um, but I usually just go from where I left off and then just draw out uh, for as long as I want the flick to go and then fill in. So just watch as follows. Okay, so there's the start of the flick that I wanted to do. I'm now just going to neaten it up and make it a little bit thicker and then when I'm happy with it I will show you my little trick of cleaning it up with concealer. Okay, so you can see I've made it a little bit thicker on the flick and a little bit over the eye as well just to match in. Okay, so that's more of the shape that I want to go for. Um, I'm now going to clean it up a little bit with the concealer and then I might fill back in a little bit more um, after that. So you want to get an angled brush like this and then you want to grab your concealer. So I'm just going to be using the Rimmel one that I usually use. If you squeeze a little bit of this concealer on your hand like so and then just grab some with the angled brush and then we can go in and clean this concealer. Sorry, clean this eyeliner. So I just get a little bit on the eye so I've got some to work with. And then go as close to the eyeliner flick as you want to go to clean up that line. Okay, and when you've got it where you want it, you can just brush away this concealer to blend it into the rest of your skin. Okay, that's pretty sharp now, so I'm just going to go back in and just fiddle with it a little bit more and make it a little bit, um, little bit thicker. Okay, that's better. I'm slightly more happy with that shape. Perfect, and then I'm just going to clean it up again. Same brush. So here's both wings done. Um, I hope the tutorial was clear and that you could see exactly what I was trying to show you. Um, I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I will come on and show you how it looks all done.
So this is the finished look, both eyes done and the rest of my makeup done so you can see how it looks when you have finished your whole face. Um, I hope the tutorial was interesting and easy to follow. Um, I'm going to link all the products that I used uh, in the comments below and if you do have any questions or comments just leave them below or just get in touch with me via Instagram which is at Beauty Full Time Marlborough. Thank you for watching.